continually enhancing user experience through ever-improving functionality and extended operating times is a major challenge facing designers of mobile phones and tablet computers. These challenges are, in turn, creating demands to drastically increase the performance of the system interfaces while maintaining low power consumption. One result of this is the deployment of the Universal Flash Storage Interface created by JDEC. UFS is the interface standard for next-generation mass storage systems and is supported by principal consumer electronics and mobile device OEMs. The UFS 1.0 standard was published by JEDEC in February 2011. Based around feedback and experience of implementations based on UFS 1.0, JEDEC announced the evolutionary UFS 1.1 standard in June 2012. One of the motivations for UFS is that eMMC, the memory interface standard that until now has offered the best solution for most mobile devices, is not able to meet the requirements of all new and emerging designs. eMMC is an excellent solution for today's smartphones and tablets, and UFS is not necessarily a replacement, but a solution for certain applications that are limited by the scalability of eMMC. UFS is designed to be the most advanced specification for embedded flash memory storage in mobile phones and tablet PCs. As you might expect, a key difference between the two standards is speed. UFS offers scalability from 2.9 to 5.8 gigabits per second while maintaining low power consumption thanks to a lower energy per bit ratio. In contrast to eMMC, UFS provides full duplex communication while a serial interface directly translates into space savings in the final design of UFS devices due to a smaller number of pins. In addition to well-established features already offered by eMMC, UFS also supports command queuing to complement the benefits of multitasking operating systems and multi-core CPUs. The general UFS system architecture comprises UFS host and UFS memory device hardware, above which sits the mass storage software and, above that, the target application. UFS has been developed by leading consumer electronics companies and it has been published as a standard by JEDEC. UFS builds upon the well-established SCSI architecture model, which allows reuse of existing SCSI software stacks. Furthermore, UFS uses the MEPI Alliance, UniPro and MPHI interface standards to achieve the highest performance and most power-efficient data transport. UniPro is a comprehensive specification that acts as a universal chip-to-chip -chip protocol, while the M5 serial interface is the primary physical interface, or PHI layer, and the reason that UFS has the ability to scale to data rates of 5.8 gigabits per lane. Toshiba has been actively involved in UFS since its inception and has made significant contributions to the development of the JDEC standard as it relates to both the memory device and the host controller. As a promoter member of the MEPI Alliance, Toshiba has also played a major role in developing and supporting the m interface and UniPro Universal Chip-to-Chip -chip protocol that form the basis of the UFS interconnect layer. To help engineers implement UFS solutions, Toshiba offers a variety of support, including key IP building blocks for device and host controller implementations. The combination of Toshiba's MIPI and JDEC technologies and its comprehensive range of semiconductors for mobile devices, along with support from OS companies, third-party chip makers and IP vendors, represents a comprehensive ecosystem that facilitates the rapid deployment of UFS-based designs. Toshiba's commitment to UFS is illustrated by the announcement of the world's first UFS development and testing system to support version 1.1 of the specification. Unveiled to visitors at an all-members meeting of the MEPI Alliance in Berlin, the system is a complete testing environment for next-generation memory solutions built around UFS 1.1. Built around a UFS host FPGA board and a device FPGA board, as well as all necessary drivers, the UFS test system allows designers to use a PC to evaluate, prototype, test and validate their designs. Comprehensive test categories cover UniPro Link Startup, UFS Device Initialization, 
MMIO, boot performance and interoperability.